some renown in the realms of Muay Thai and kickboxing. Roxana, a very warm welcome. Thank you. And if you could just begin by telling the assembled media members here about some of your story, because it is remarkable when you consider your culture, your heritage, your background, you say all of these things presented challenges from you being able to share with your family the fact that you were a fighter, that you were doing kickboxing and Muay Thai. Just explain how you found the sport, first of all, and why you, it was necessary for you to keep it clandestine from your family. So, from a very young age, I was fascinated by martial arts. Um, I was always watching boxing, <coughs> looked up to Bruce Lee, and I knew it was out of the question for me to pursue a um, combat sport, given my background being <coughs> Asian, female, Muslim, um, and a petite female. Um, it was only in 2012 we introduced the women's boxing at the Olympics. So 10, 15 years ago, it was unheard of for females to walk into a sport such as boxing or Muay Thai. Um, but I fell in love with the sport. From the age of 17, I discovered the sport at the school club, um, and I knew this is what I wanted to do with my spare time. So I then went along and um, decided to get a job and um, train in secret for approximately five years. Um, so whilst I was at university studying, I would train once a week religiously. I would go above and beyond to make sure that I, my training would not suffer. Um, I would be the best daughter at home, make sure my studies were all done, simply because this sport meant so much to me. I wasn't concerned about going out with my friends or doing anything else. Um, the sport meant the world to me. Um, I was very conscious of the fact that if I revealed this to my family, they may ask me to choose between the sport um, and them. So I kept it hidden from them. They were aware that I was actually going to the gym, but not uh, knowing that I was taking part in martial arts. Um, even at that point, I wanted to compete, but I knew once a week was not enough dedication um, to compete on, a, uh, on any level. So it was a hobby and a passion at that point. Later on, once I finished university, I realised it's a sport that's making me a better person and I wanted to actually then bring my family to the gym um, and have their approval. I wanted their blessing because if I'm going to do this, I wanted to go in with my heart and my soul, um, you know, all in one. I couldn't do this without their support um, on a competitive level. Um, I went through a stage in my life where things were not all up. So at that point, I found the courage to take my family to the gym and introduce them to my coach. They had a conversation, and I think they realized that it's not taking me away from my family values, my upbringing, my roots. It's in fact enhancing those things through sport. Um, and at that point, I just dived right into it and um, started competing on a competitive level. Within a year, I got selected for Team GB to represent um, at the World Championships, where more than 150 countries were taking part. Um, I went along for the experience, however, I came back with a bronze medal, and then from that, it just went from strength to strength for me. And I realized through my um, achievements that I could do more, and there is no barriers. Um, and for me now, I'm switching over to boxing because I realised I've climbed that mountain and I realised my story can reach out to so many young women who, who I can inspire to follow any dream or passion in life um, and this is what motivates me to step into the ring again. Well there have been some notable box kickboxers who have made the transition to the noble art. George Groves was a world champion as a junior. Vitaly Klitschko, with WBC heavyweight champion, was a kickboxer of note as well. How are you finding the adjustment to using just your hands to strike and your legs to move? How are you finding the adjustment from K1 and Muay Thai? Um, initially, I, you know, when I first decided to do this, I thought minus the legs, I'll be fine. But I've realised it's much more complicated than that. Um, 
I've come a long way. I've got such a great team behind me. Um, Dave is such an inspiration. Being here with Joe, Salas, and the team, we've got fantastic team who are looking after me and I think I've made such a sharp learning curve within less than six months of training um, and I feel confident about my transformation. And you touched on it during the course of your initial answer to the media about why you took up kickboxing in the first place. How much incentive does that inspiration you provide to other young women provide for you to continue do doing what you're doing in this realm of professional boxing? I think it means everything to me, um, the fact that I can break down barriers, stereotypes, um, I go against the norm um, in terms of being female, being Asian, being um, ethnic, um, suffering from ME, uh, I show that there is no limits um, and this is what, for me, I've already won, stepping into that ring. I believe I'm making the difference and that's what inspires me to inspire others. Well, all of you in the, in the room are aware of the fact that boxing brings up such fantastic stories and the athletes are willing to share those stories with us, the media members, and I'm sure that we're all grateful for that. Roxana Baker making her professional debut at the York Hall this Saturday and it will be part of the professional boxing girl that is going live on Free to Air Television on Channel 5. Hey Fight Fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you do so by clicking this icon right here or else.